Schneider. Pushing forward here. What the fuck was that? Sometimes I really hate this game because of the amount of bullshit that happens in matches. But anyway, what is up guys? Welcome back to another play review. Today we're going to be looking at Informed Juninho. And he is very cheap. On the PS3 he's currently going for around 30 to 40k. And it's only been the second day he's been released. So he by the end of the week he might go for 20k. You never know. But for a 30k player or 40k player, we're going to try and discuss if he's worth it or not. If, or if I'm going to recommend it by the end of this video. So before I begin, if you guys are looking for coin, check out UT Coin Trades. The link will be in the description. And now to begin with, let me just begin with um, how slow he is. It says 70 pace on the card. Um, if you're expecting him to be as fast as Pelo, because I think Pelo seems a bit faster than his card stats, um, this guy doesn't seem to be as he doesn't live up to his 70 pace stat on the card. I think he's quite. Uh, I think he's around 60 pace in my opinion. But one thing that I did really, um, I thought that was much better than his card stats is his dribbling. His dribbling seemed pretty high to me. I was able to dribble past defenders very easily. And it didn't seem like it was just only 82 dribbling. Maybe it's because he has very high ball control. Because this guy's first touch is amazing. I, after I just, you know, give him a through ball or over the top ball, he's able to control it very, very good. And also his long shots are fantastic. And not only that, for a slow paced guy, his shot power is very very deadly. Now some of you might be asking what do you mean his shot power is deadly for a slow guy? Basically if you guys have Muriel or Darren Bent which I pretty much think everyone has them and has tried them out. Basically their shot power isn't that great in their in-game stats but because of how fast they are their shot power increases because of how much pace they're running behind the ball. Now he doesn't have that much pace but his shot power is still pretty damn deadly. Think Van Persie for instance, not as good a vamp as Van Persie's shooting, but pretty up there. So uh, moving on to his passing for a midfielder, this guy has amazing passing. I think he's only 81 overall, and he's got 88 passing on the card. That is that is just ridiculous, but is really good because he's probably one of the best Brazilian midfielders at passing. And since he has the swerve pass trait, this could come in handy in matches. He also has decent strength. I didn't think defenders were bullying him or anything like that. Sometimes he was bullying defenders considering he doesn't have that much strength in game but I think he's he seems stronger because of how high his ball control is and how slow he is now another thing uh, about him that I didn't like is he can be out of position a lot because of his work rates he has high attacking and high defending so you never know exactly where he is every time I wanted to pass it to him I couldn't find him sometimes he will be at the goalkeeper sometimes he'll be watching cinema sometimes you know he will be downstairs in the kitchen. I don't even know, but sometimes he just wouldn't be there when I needed him. Three star skills and three star weak foot, so not exactly that good for a midfielder. I would have rather had him at least four star weak foot. I don't mind the skills, but four star weak foot would have been ideal for this guy. But his left foot uh, just didn't seem to live up to that three star weak foot. I felt it was a bit worse than that. I, I think it will be around two star weak foot in my opinion. Now his free kicks. I only had one free kick. I think I'm like cursed when I'm doing reviews. Every time I'm reviewing a player that is really good at free kicks, I never get fouled in a good position to take a free kick. I don't understand it. When I'm playing with a striker that is shit at free kicks, I get free kicks all the time. But when I get a striker or a midfielder that is really good at free kicks, never get them. But I only got one free kick with him and I was very close to scoring it. Other than that, I can't really comment on his free kicks. Sorry about that. And uh, if I do I recommend him? Of course I do. Very good midfielder. I think he is really good. Um, there's not that many really great, you know, Brazilian midfielders. He's one of the best in my opinion. So um, he's also cheap because of his pace, of course. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a like. That is all for this review. Let me know in the comment section below who you guys want me to review next. And as usual, guys, I really hope. Hope you have a very nice day.